Hey, buenos dias todos. Good morning, everybody. Costa Rica, Joe Jose Reyes. Coming at you from one of my other sanctuaries in the world here. Lake property in the great upper Midwest, the United States. And it's a quiet morning here on the lake. <clears throat> Excuse me. At any rate, things are cooking back in the U.S. here and they're definitely moving slow compared to uh, Sisua. So wanted to check in with everybody and see how things are going. I got quite a few uh, emails and messages on Facebook here and wanted to, uh, I'll address those here in a little bit, but I want to say thanks first and foremost to Liz uh, down in Texas, uh, Robert out in Ireland, and Heather in Arizona. Uh, appreciate those uh, those messages and look forward to uh, communicating more and, and, and working with you guys in, in the near future here. Um, kind of wanted to go over my mission <clears throat> first and foremost here and that is to uh, first and foremost is to what, what I would what I would call the Great Commission and that's spreading the word of of uh, first and foremost of Christ. I, I am a Christian and, and really when I say that it's really a, a message of, of peace, prosperity, uh, thankfulness, graciousness, and, and love for everybody. That's that's my first point here. Uh, number two is to really uh, do do more business, uh, whether it's with properties, uh, with construction companies, with IT companies, whatever it is. That that's what I've done in the past. I'd like to do more of that. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I anticipate doing more of that. And uh, there's all sorts of uh, interesting opportunities and, and things going on. Uh, potentially a documentary being shot here in, in South America sometime in the near future as well. So uh, on, on top of the Great Commission and, and doing some more business, uh, both in the U.S. and abroad, I would like to uh, definitely continue to meet more more people. The last three years have been great from the people I've met in Costa Rica and Colombia, certainly in the Dominican Republic and Sisua. And any of the other 21 that I've visited here in the last three years, it's been absolutely fantastic. So I'm looking to partner with, with different people, whether you own a property, you're looking to buy a property, uh, you have a church, or you're looking to get uh, help me continue my church, get things going with that as we progress into Asia, uh, which is the goal here in the upcoming months. Um, so... At any rate, um, I have heard that things have been slowing down quite a bit in Sisua. That's part of the reason that I had to uh, get out for the season at least. I potentially will be heading back in the fall to do some more business and get a few things more set up before uh, jumping over to Thailand and Asia, uh, potentially Cambodia and uh, the Philippines as well. So all sorts of uh, interesting things coming up here in the near future. Uh, at any rate, today's quick message uh, to base things in the the grace of, of Christ, uh, I would say uh, I wanted to focus on the seven deadly sins. Now one of my favorite movies that I've been so intrigued of uh, in the past, well really in my whole life, is a movie called Seven. That's with Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman where they're, uh, they're tracking a serial killer that's investigating uh, murders on the seven deadly sins. And uh, the tie I found, the, the three most common, if you want to call them sins or vices or whatever you want to call them, in Latin America, certainly in the DR and the other countries I've been to, whether it's Colombia, Costa Rica, so on and so forth, I would say number one is definitely lust. When you talk about the, um, just the desire of, of the beautiful women that exist in Latin America and, and really in every country and continent, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so number one, lust, and that, that definitely goes both ways. Obviously, f females have a high degree of lust towards uh, towards the opposite sex as well. So, and it really, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. It's just how much does it control your life? Does it make your life better? Does it make it worse? Uh, number two, being greed. Um, obviously, the desire and lust for money, if you will, is a huge thing in these countries. Most of them being much poorer nations. Um, a lot of these, a lot of these individuals are willing to do just about anything for money, and in some ways that is uh, a good thing. In other ways, it's a bad thing. And the scary part is the greed. I've always been told and and believed that uh, money is a a good servant, but a cruel master. And I've tried to live my life accordingly to that because it's absolutely true. When it controls your life. Uh, some scary things can happen. I've been in the position of making over six figures several different times in my life and uh, 
when that's all you're living for is just your car and your house and just a few things I, in my opinion your life is uh, is not really where it needs to be you, it's at any rate it wasn't the happiest times of my life even though uh, according to some people especially in Western society it probably should have been the best years of my life and really the best years have been the last three when I've been traveling and I've been out um, hanging with individuals that don't have as much but yet seem to be happier and really that's what I'm transitioning my life towards as a, as a life of, of happiness a life of of peace and still prosperity absolutely but uh, going with the component that very feng shui that less can be more absolutely so at any rate and third and finally uh, the third of these seven deadly sins if you will that I find to be so prevalent is, is absolutely pride and that can be probably the scariest one, scariest one of all. Any individual that is kind of, if you will, claiming to be wise and therefore being ignorant, uh, saying that their word is, is better than yours or that whatever they do, uh, the legalism, if you will, kind of casting a stone at you or pointing the finger saying, hey, you have to do it this way. Um, that to me is, is really the worst one of all. Pride before the fall, if you will. And I find the funny thing is... Uh, for in the in the DR, for example, where I spent the last year, the the pride of their culture and what they know, trying to trump out what us gringos or individuals not of Latin descent know, and, and trying to even though they they're so anxious for our money, um, and and why wouldn't they be? They know that we have it, and they they don't. Um, just the pride that goes along with that. A lot of the the con condescending statements and comments and, and what I find just just pride I guess and, and there's nothing wrong with being happy and, and prideful from where you're from where you come from and where you want to go I absolutely have all that as well the point is not to be too into that I guess if that makes sense so again any questions or comments please send me a message on Facebook it's Jose Reyes Sasua Costa Rica Joe and uh, I'm just happy to be part of all these things um, once again, the main point of this video was just to check in, let you all know that everything's going well, even though it could be going a lot better. I, I definitely miss the DR, and I'm definitely excited to get over to Asia and get things going there. Also, excited to get back to South America and uh, talk to these individuals regarding this uh, this documentary and this potential movie that's going on. So, absolutely, with any business ideas or information, uh, send me a message on Facebook. Looking forward to speaking to all of you once again. Jose Reyes Sasua, that's S-O-S-U-A, Costa Rica Joe, and uh, y'all are in my, my thoughts, my prayers, I appreciate hearing from every single one of you, and I hope y'all are doing well. Uh, once again, big shout out to Robert in Ireland, uh, who's going through a, a divorce right now, and is interested in, in learning more about traveling, and doing some mongering, uh, certainly to uh, Liz in Texas, I'm very intrigued with what you have going on claiming to be a swinger and wanting to get involved in some of these things. I'm looking very forward to working with you. And then lastly, Heather, uh, down in Arizona, um, wanting to do some things with the current, uh, what you referred to as a love triangle. I'm definitely interested in, in learning more about that. So at any rate, I hope you all are doing well. I look forward to uh, many more of these great conversations. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. I know my Viking brother... Um, Kuba Dave is down in Costa Rica right now. Seems like things are, are going well for him down there as he explores some of the new properties. So I'm, I'm, I know a lot of you are in touch with him as well. So at any rate, keep me updated. If, you, if you're going to Sioux, if you're going to the DR, if you're down in Costa Rica, Colombia, wherever you are, looking forward to talking with you. We're charting towards Asia. It's going to be a great time here in, in the upcoming months. And, and stay in touch. Let me know what questions you have. Let me know how you want to get involved. Um, big ups to each and every one of you that have the guts to, to live the life you want to live. Because at the end of the day, I find that's the most important thing to be. If you're not, if you're not yourself, who in the hell are you, right? So at any rate, make it a great one, people. We'll talk to you soon. Awesome, peaceful day here. I'm going to get back in the water. Talk to you soon.